What's going down? Welcome back to another TSL preview. We have TSL Resolution 3 coming up on Saturday, January the 26th, live at the VFW in Uptown, Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's going to be the first championship series event of 2019, and the road to TSL 4 starts in about a week. I got joining me today, uh, Jimmy Sorrell. Who has a, a little match on the card? Yeah, a little match. Just a little Not match. Not a big deal at all. We'll, we'll get we'll get to that, and I'm I'm sure you're super excited for this, Very right? Very excited. Yeah, this has been what like a since Awakening. This is kind of Awakening when you fought. Was that was the that was kind my, of the beginning of the journey absolutely. to this end game? He has a championship fight, guys. He's fighting for the belt, the world mm-hmm. champ belt. The challenger is here with me, grace me with his present here. So we're gonna break down the TSL card for you guys. We'll finish up with his big match versus the champ, the double champ still? Yeah, still so. double champ, Mr. Allen Block. Uh, he holds the TSL three belt and the world championship belt. It's crazy. Double champ. Two champ. Now he just needs the third belt, triple champ. <laughs> Be looking like one of those uh, one of those like uh, Latino boxers with just like 15 belts. belts. Yeah, just he has a belt, two on the shoulder. His guys are each I holding six it. belts. Or uh, if you're a big wrestling fan who back in the day, uh, Ultimo Dragon had like 12 hmm. belts in old WCW. That's an old reference for my wrestling fans out there. But let's jump into it. Uh, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches on the card. Uh, I will be commentating hosting the mm-hmm. event we got the live stream coming this will be our first time at this location yeah which i'm curious to see you know how everything how this location is i'm yeah. super excited to see a new location we've had a great location in egan uh the past what six months or yeah, so like you know last few events but this is a brand new location we're going to be at um and they have alcohol so yeah, that always makes drinks. things exciting um but yeah, so we're going to dig into the card, go through the card, break it down for you guys. Um, and if you've never checked out the Saber Legion, check them out. They're all over Facebook. They have uh, uh, an Instagram, YouTube channel, lots of great videos out there. If you hear an annoying voice commentating, that's this guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so breaking it down, we got Mike Irvin versus Lewis Spooner the third as our opening match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike out of Minnesota, Lewis out of SoCal. Yeah. Um, I've seen both these guys fight. And am, am I right? that Did they fight... At TSL three, I'm not sure. Okay, because oh, yeah, yeah, you were you were at TSL three. Yeah. If my memory serves me right, and somebody can comment and let me know if this is correct or incorrect, but I'm pretty sure they fought each other at TSL three, and I want to say Lewis came out on top there. Hmm. If memory serves me correctly, but comment down we'll, below and we'll let me know if I'm soon. right or wrong. Um, so. You know, Elder Statesman and Mike Irvine, one of the OGs of the Sabre Legion, one of the first people I met um, when I went to the park in, what was it, Maple Grove Mm -hmm. to meet the guys was Mike. Uh, Him versus Lewis. Lewis is, uh, he's been around for a while. Yeah, yes. He's been doing stuff with TSL for a long time. They got very, uh, would you say similar styles? Yeah, both of them bring this ferocity when they fight that's pretty exciting. Uh, More that like slow build up with a big clash. It'll be a really, really fun fight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be intense. I think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be one of those sit back and wait fights. Like you said, they both yeah. kind of come in mm-hmm. and attack. So this is gonna be a very offensive fight. I don't I know if so it's we're gonna see a very defensive minded battle, but it's definitely gonna be plenty of good offense Absolutely. to kick off. And that's what you want in an opening match. You know, opening totally. match needs to get the crowd lathered. You know, it needs to get the excitement popped off right mm-hmm. off the bat. I think this is a great way to start the show. Yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I think I got Lewis by just a slight edge. Yep. And I think with Mike, and especially when Mike, if he can, I think he's got a, fir- a really good shot if he can take it by round two, but if it pushes to round three, okay. sometimes I think he has trouble finishing it off. <laughs> Stamina, man. It's, Stamina it's, it's matters. It's no joke. That, this, it's only three round, uh, what, two minutes, right? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Yep. Three five-minute rounds. And uh, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah, it's I mean, crazy. I've never been in the ring, but I've talked to plenty of fighters, and I watch you guys, and I see you guys come up dripping sweat afterwards. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's it's. But he's been working on that cardio. Yeah, he he's dropped some pounds. He's got that, you know. He's got a good look going. Absolutely. So he's got a, you know, uh, he's got a good chance. Yeah, he's not a noob. He no, knows what he's doing. No, no, no. He's got the experience. 
He's definitely got the experience, but I, th- I still think I got Lewis and just yeah. a, a slight edge. How about you? I think I think I'm gonna stay with you on this one. I think Lewis, Lewis is gonna edge out yeah. just a little just, bit ahead, just barely, but should be a great be opening match. Yeah, we'll see. I can't wait to call it. I can't wait. Uh, one week from Saturday. Um, so second match, we got Josh Wilcoxon, who wears the Viking gear, which I love and <laughs> super respect out of yeah. Minnesota, versus uh, Mike Brudenell, also out of Minnesota. So we got a Minnesota versus Minnesota match. This uh, might be one of my favorite fights of the night. This is one of the only matches that actually has people from the same charter going against each mm-hmm. other. Um, so why do you think this is going to be one of your favorite matches of the night? I spar both of these guys all the time. Okay. And both of them just have such different styles. And both of them have gotten so good the last couple months. Uh, I'm just, I, it'll be really fun to see them come together. The improvement in all the fighters in TSL over the past, I'd say, year, year and a half, mm-hmm. has been something that is just a treat for me to see because Absolutely. this sport is evolving. These fighters, these guys are evolving at such a rapid pace. Yep. It's, uh, man, it, it's going to be a treat. Um, I've seen Josh fight. A multitude of times. Uh, I've seen Mike fight on a couple of occasions. I think I've seen Josh fight a little bit more. Yep. Um, and Josh is a tall gentleman. He's a With big a guy. very long reach. A very long reach. And he reach. always runs around like the whole time. It's so impressive. And yeah. it, it catches me off guard every time. Just movement. Mm-hmm. Just constant movement. He's not someone who sits back. He's not someone who's like... And he doesn't just charge straight ahead. Mm-mm. He's one of those... The lat- He's one of the better lateral yep. movers. Jumping to the side. Yep. Jumping and, and just moving in, in all sorts of directions. So you never really know where what direction he's going to attack from. Yeah. Um, so who do you think, uh, who do you got in this one and, and why? You know, I think I'm going to put uh, Mike just a little bit ahead. Uh, he's been doing some of this. I, I wish I could figure it out. He's such a, I mean, he calls himself the, the manic martial artist. He has such a wide background. And he's getting this like hesitating strike. It's really hard to like judge when he's going to come in. Is it almost like a fake it's strike? It's almost like a fake strike. And it's so, so good. Interesting. Um, yeah. That's something I'll be looking for, looking out for on commentary mm-hmm. now that you give me that little tip. See, yeah. there's, there's so many good things I get out <laughs> of these videos that help That's me good. for for these events. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go opposite. I'm think. I think Josh is gonna take it. Sure. Uh, I think he's gonna use his reach to his advantage. Absolutely. Um, he he seems to do that quite regularly well, he's in his matches that as much as he can. So, hey, if you got a strength, you know, exploit it. Totally. Yeah, you know that's that's any fighter will tell you that mm-hmm. in any in any combat sport. You yep. know, and there's a big height difference sport. there too. Mike's there a little shorter of a guy, and yep. Josh is taller. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm very curious to see. We're, we now we differ. So yeah. we'll have to. We're going. We're go not back friends and, anymore. That's. Oh, <laughs> such you know, such is life. Mm-hmm. Um. So pa- match number three, Patrick Wetzel. Uh, out of Maryland mm-hmm. versus Kristen McConnell from Minnesota. Yep. Uh, I am familiar with both these two fighters. Mm-hmm. I've seen Patrick fight uh, TSL3. He's been up here for a couple championship series events, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I've not seen Patrick one. fight. Oh, then maybe yeah. maybe it was just TSL3 mm-hmm. that I saw him. I've seen a lot of fights, guys. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it's hard for me to keep track of every single fight. I need a TSL historian uh, who really tracks all this that stuff and then role. gives me um, like cheat sheets for this stuff because I'm only one man. And my mm-hmm. memory is only so vast. And the wrestling information in there takes up a good chunk. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Um, so uh, I keep having to reopen my phone. Uh, Patrick Wetzel, Kristen McConnell. Um, who do you think is going to win? Who this is such a hard one. At Toss TSL up. 3, uh, the Allen Block fight versus Kristen McConnell is one of my favorite fights to watch. Oh, yeah. That was one of the best fights and of the weekend. It was so intense. And Kristen has this. Uh, you just can't underestimate her. She is so skilled. And so timely. Um, I'm, that's another one of my favorite fights of the she, night. She almost took that match. Yeah, they got down she, to sudden death. Oh, and yeah. that last strike was as close to a simultaneous hit as you can get without it being a simul hit. <sighs> that was... Yeah, and that, that would have changed everything. That would have taken Allen out of the running for the world championship. Right. So he would have can't... He would have went to the consolation But bracket. at the same time, Patrick uh, at Crossroads performed extremely well. Uh, really, really, really strong fighter. So yeah. I, I, I have no idea. I'm going to go Kristen. I, I, think, I, I really, as a, I think as I'm a gonna Wampa, go Kristen. I want yeah. Kristen. Go with the Minnesota girl. Yeah, absolutely. I think she's got it. She took the, she took the champ to sudden death. Yeah. I think she's got this. I think she's got this. Um, nope. Match number five. No, four, because I can't count. Uh, David Loudenschlager versus Russell Bradley. So we got yeah. uh, David out of Cali and Russell out of Nebraska. I don't know why I said it that way. I say the same <laughs> thing when I say Iowa. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know. It's, I'm sorry. It's a deep thing. This it just is, comes out. This is a number one contenders match. This is going to be a really so fun fight. So you might be facing the winner of this it match. It could happen. It, there's a possibility. I would love for that to happen. Anything is possible, mm-hmm. right? Um, break, it, break this match down for me a little bit. Yeah, I kind of feel like uh, we have David with the kilt. 
He's been rocking a kilt, and then we have Russell and at Ragnarok, he wore this pumpkin spice everything shirt. I talked about so, it multiple times on the that, on that live stream. The kilt versus pumpkin spice. Uh, both yeah. of them are excellent guys. David's super strategic. Russell is as close to a bard as you can get, just funny. Yeah. Um, I, I, it's I'm, gonna be a yeah, technical fight. It's gonna be an interesting fight. This isn't gonna be like Mike and Lewis charging at each Not other at offensively. This is gonna be a tactician. This is gonna be a cat and mouse. It's gonna be very calculated strikes. Move, counter move. Absolutely. This is a chess game. Mm-hmm. This will be a complete chess game between these two. I have no doubt about it. Uh, God, this is a toss up for me. Uh, these are both great fighters. Yep. I think I'm gonna take David on top mm-hmm. on this one. Um, I've just seen some. The calculating, the strategy before and after, he never stops improving. Yeah. Um, yeah, he keeps pushing himself. One of the, I mean, he's a very active member in TSL. He both, trains with Both Alan. these guys are. Yeah, he trains with the champ because they're both Cali. So, you know, there's uh, the West Coast. Mm-hmm. A lot of West Coast here. A lot of West Coast on the card tonight. A little bit, little, little East Coast. But yeah, it will be. It will be. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see. We'll see how the California boys deal with the cold. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Be, Maybe that'll take him out. It'll, that'll be, be the it'll win. be indoor and temperature controlled. I'm gonna open a window for our fight, Alan. If we had it outside, Minnesota, Minnesota all the way. Yeah, I'm just telling you, it's like negative 30 here. Not really. It's like 20 degrees. It's, it's pretty really nice. nice it, we won't get into the weather. Um, <laughs> so we got we both got David in that I one. Think so. Yeah, I think so. I Russell, think so. prove us wrong, man. Bring yeah. that Nebraska charm. Yeah. The Nebraska charm. Hey, I said it right. Um, <laughs> now, accent that this is something I am very excited for. We have a tag team fight. Yes, you heard me right. Tag team fight. Tag team fighting is something that's going to be introduced. It got introduced last year. Yep, at Battlegrounds. But, it, but it's really going to start being introduced more mm-hmm. this year, right? Yeah. Uh, and that is going to be a phenomenal yeah. match. So we have Tanner Martin out of Ohio teaming with Edward James Travato, the Ewok, versus Kevin Cook from Minnesota and Jameis Brumbaugh yeah. from Colorado. Uh, so two, like, what were you telling me prior to we were taping about this match? What you found interesting about it? Uh, what was I saying about that one? That both of them are <laughs> from different... Yeah, like Tanner was from a different state than Ewok... Kevin and Jameis are from different states, so they had no time to really practice. Right. The, um, so the they can co- talk strategy, but they have no... And now this isn't a... Is, now, explain to me how the tag team fights work in TSL. Yeah. Or explain to the people how the, TS, or the, how the tag team fights work in TSL. Now, is it like a... Um, a tornado tag team match where both fighter, all four fighters are in the ring, or do no, you actually no. have to tag your opponent like a traditional tag team style match? Yeah, so much more traditional. Okay. It, it'll f- feel at first like a regular fight, but at any time after the judge says go or fight, the guy can fall back and tag his buddy, and they can swap, and then the fight restarts. Now, is this the same three rounds, five minute per round, or is this a straight like maybe let's say just a ten minute? Whoever has the most points at the end of 10 minutes. This is still best of three rounds. There's some interesting rules, like when um, if you get a simultaneous hit, it triggers a switch where both people switch. I love that. Um, So it's it brings this whole uh, new energy. It is so much fun to watch. It was a crowd favorite um, when we did it at Battleground. Um, It changes the whole dynamic of a fight. I cannot wait to see this. I've never seen a tag team match in person. Yeah. I've heard about it. I've read about it. Not read about it, but I've heard about it. I've heard you guys talk about it. I'm excited <laughs> really for fun. it. Uh, who do we got and why? Uh, I'll go first on this one. Mm, gosh. Uh, it's I'm a hard the, one to call, man. Yeah, yeah. This is a tough one to call because Tanner had a great showing at TSL3. Hmm. Tanner really impressed. I, I was, When I was out in Ohio, I got to train with those what guys. What was his armor? At, was- it was... It's not Deathstroke, like I said a bunch of times, because it doesn't have the one <laughs> eye. I know Tanner, but it's a, a half and half mask. It's red on one side, black on the okay. other side. So it's um, Deathstroke-esque or Deathstroke-inspired mask. Go. He was he corrected me on that when I was in Ohio, so I want to make sure I didn't say it was a Deathstroke mask. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he had a very good performing uh, out in TSL3. The Ewok did pretty good at TSL3. Cook's a beast. Kevin is incredible. I have seen him fight so many times. Your match with him is one of my yeah. favorites from Awakening. Um, that was Awakening, right? Yeah, yeah that, that was, was Awakening. Yeah, yeah. awakening. Jameis, I've seen fight. He was out. I'm pretty. Yeah, Jameis was out. He was at, just out at Ragnarok. TSL3. Yeah, and he was at Ragnarok as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, ooh, uh, I said I'd go first, didn't I? You Why did. did I say that? I, I didn't know. even know who I was going to pick. Uh, Kevin Cook and Jameis. I'm going to take Kevin and Jameis. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kevin could carry just about anyone on his shoulders yeah. and take on the world. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to go that way. He's a heck of a fighter. Yeah, I've not seen Tanner or Ewok fight. Ah, um, okay. However, 
I've heard about a, fero- a ferocious Ewok. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. He he's a he's a heck of a fighter. And like I said, Tanner, he impressed in every tournament. Yeah. That week, I remember. I think it was the consolation. He was right there at the end. I want to say in the consolation tournament at TSL That's three. Awesome. I'm trying to think back to August, and it's really hard right now. So it'll be a fun fight. That'll be just an exciting one to watch. And again, Kevin's reach. He takes my legs out from under me all the time. And I know it's going to happen. I just can't. Right. Well, <laughs> it doesn't you know, matter, even if you know it's even, happening. Even if you know what someone's going to do, that doesn't mean you can defend or stop yeah. them from doing it. You yeah, know and Jameis I mean? is really just a great guy, really good fighter. Uh, when I fought him at Ragnarok, I was so impressed. Um, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a good fight. I'm excited. You beat him at Ragnarok. I did. That was, and you beat Kevin. At, yeah. You that beat was, both these guys. Yeah, that, was a, that, that, that was a fun one. <laughs> yeah, those are all both. Oh, man, mm-hmm. that's, that's funny. All right, uh, so then uh, our... Pan ultimate fight or the uh, sixth match of the night is Mr. Charlie Cummings and uh, Jay Madden. Char- Charlie out of Minnesota. He did the last PV video with me. Uh, what runner up in more tournaments than I can count yeah, he last took, year. Uh, second in TSL three and second at Crossroads. And I believe he lost to Jay at Crossroads, didn't he? That I don't sure. know. Because I wasn't out at Crossroads. So th- I think I think in, this is a, a rematch. Okay. A rematch from the Ohio yeah. Crossroads. Someone let me know let if us, I'm wrong. Let us know. Let, that's what the comment section's for. Mm-hmm. Feel free to correct us at any point, because accuracy is something I strive for, but somewhat miss at occasions. Um it's hard for me to go against my boy. It's hard for me to go against Charlie. I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. I'm excited for this match. I've never I don't think I've ever seen Jay fight. I'm, I'm not, not familiar with him. So it's hard for me to gauge. Um, Charlie's my boy. Total bias. I'm mm-hmm. going. I'm jo- going, Mr. Charlie Cummings. Yeah, I I have to go with Charlie as well. I know when he fought at Crossroads, he had driven like through the night, had a couple hours of sleep, and still took second in the tournament. Uh, Uptown's like this guy's back door. Yeah. So there's gonna be no sleep fatigue. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take Charlie. Yeah. On this one, he uh, man, he has such a great 2018. I was, he I'd did. say he was consistently if alan wouldn't have up there. won both titles last year i would probably say charlie was my fighter of the year for 2018 yeah. uh but definitely i'd say most improved fighter of the year was him Absolutely. like most improved fighter like if we had tsl awards which why would why don't we have tsl awards we should do tsl awards tsl yearly awards terry we should do tsl awards i'm just saying um but yeah so uh Gosh, that's going to be a good match, I hope. Yeah. I think. I have every... Well, especially if it's a rematch like you're saying. Yeah. All right. Now, the finale. The main event. Mm-hmm. The match of matches. We have Alan Block, the world champion, the TSL3 champion, going up against your boy, Jimmy Sorrell from Minnesota, the number one contender, mm-hmm. the winner of the Ragnarok tournament. Um. Okay. So I'm not going to ask you strategy. What you been doing to prepare for the match? What kind of things have you been yeah. getting in the mindset? You've been watching video. What What have you been oh, doing to get ready? Of video. Yeah. Uh, one of the, the good things about facing a world champion is there is so much film on Alan. Um, I know that there's a lot of film on me for the last year, so I know we're both watching each other. So it'll be really interesting to see yeah. how much that pays off and how much we're correcting and improving and how much has changed since the last times we fought. Have you noticed anything on uh, film that you've kind of jotted down, made some Maybe. notes about? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't show your cards. Yeah. No, no, no. I like, <laughs> I like it. That film study, the guys the guys who uh, stay on, who stay hungry and watch film mm-hmm. and prepare for these fights, and these are the guys that I've noticed have really stepped up and have really become, you know, the top of the card mm-hmm. uh in a lot of, in a lot of respects you know nothing to say anything bad about the bottom of the card because i think this is a stacked card from top this to is bottom be a great and event. a lot of fighters in all levels of the card are doing watching film doing the things i mean david loudenschlager is a, he trains crazy all the time um, he is a constantly i mean one of the most active social media guys that i see all about training and, and just getting better and improving and stuff like that um mm-hmm. so you versus Alan. I'm excited for this match. I'm not going to lie. I've learned know? so much just watching his fights. Yeah. Um, not even just about him. Just like, I feel like I've gotten better watching him. He's definitely, uh, I know for a lot of people, he's almost like a role model of the group. What a great spokesperson for TSL. He is. Uh, what a great fighter. The the piece they did on ESPN about him was yeah. wonderful. Uh, he had a feature on ESPN just him because he was the champ when we did like the awakening event. Um, he's a stand up guy. He's so nice. Uh, it just, Always the constant, constant professional. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll feel a little bad when I beat him. Just a little. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like it. Have yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Uh. You want to get any trash talk? Now's your time. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, I- <laughs> you cut a promo. No. Um, 
this is going to be a this is going to be a match. I want this thing to go to three rounds. Mm-hmm. I really want this thing to go to three rounds of all matches. This is the one. I've thought for a little while I would love to see the championship match five rounds. That would be intense. Best of five. That would be intense. That's an endurance match. That brings so much more into it. Mm-hmm. Just the championship match. Every other match always stays best of three, right? Yeah, it would but change you, everything. You separate that championship match five rounds. Just beast mode it. Something to think about. I'm just saying for the for the for the powers that be, you know, you can take Extend it, it, take out it, and leave it. You know, it would just. I think it would bring it would bring just another level to the championship match. You know what I mean? It mm-hmm. steps it up just a notch above. It's gonna be hard for me to go against Alan. I'm sorry you're sitting here with me, and this no, is I tough for me to say. Uh, this dude has just been a beast this year. He does nothing but train, from yep. what I can tell. He is incredible. Like, he's fast. He's determined. And he just like goes like like he's all over the place training mm-hmm. too. Like I'll see him out on the East Coast training. I'll see him back on the West Coast training. Yep. He takes matches as much like yeah. This dude's just he's a beast. He you got a you got a you got a tall order ahead of you. Mm-hmm. But I'm not saying like we were talking about this earlier. I'm not saying you know like there's no way Jimmy's gonna pull it out. Jimmy has. A really good chance. If Charlie wasn't my most improved fighter last year, it probably would go to you, because you Thanks, jumped leaps and bounds from when I when I met you what a couple of years ago. Well, I just started. Uh, and, I just finished up my first year in TSL. Right. So about yeah. oh yeah, so about a year, mm-hmm. about a year ago. Um, but from seeing from where from awakening from the Gumby esque yeah. style, <laughs> you know what I mean, jumping forward to Ragnarok and your performance there. Mm-hmm. Um, Heck of a heck of an improvement, man. I mean, you've earned this title shot. You have definitely really earned this title shot. And Alan's got a challenge on his hands. He does. That's the goal. You know? Our goal, Alan and I were uh, talking, uh, this is going to be, as if we have anything to say about it, the best show. You do not want to miss this fight. I'll uh, be there. We're both going to be very aggressive, very in the face. Um, it's going to be fun. Ah, it's going to be a slobber knocker, as good old JR used to say. <laughs> um so, uh, final thoughts on the on the on the anything anything any closing words you want to give to the people anything you want to say to I mean, the come TSL out to the, community come out to the event uh, watch the live stream this is yes. going to be uh, the card of cards it is the start of the 2019 season the road to TSL four begins Saturday January 26th live. From uh, the VFW in Uptown, mm-hmm. Minnesota, TSL Resolution the third. It's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. I mean, I, there's not a match on here that I'm not excited to watch. Yeah. I can't wait to call all the action um, and just see what happens. Maybe new champ. We'll have a new number one contender. Mm-hmm. Um, are we talking about tag belts at any point? I'm not sure what the plan is. I know that they're going to... Tag belts would be, be a cool. good idea. I'm just Raise saying. Raise the stakes on those tag team matches. Yes, sir. Tag belts. So we've given you guys lots of great ideas in this video. I'm just going to say me and Jimmy are very smart individuals. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, But yeah, like, share, subscribe. Base Boy Banner is my channel. Well, that's where you're watching this on because I posted it to that channel. So like, share, <laughs> and subscribe there. Go follow uh, the Saber Legion everywhere. Go follow Base Boy Banner everywhere. We're all over the place. I can't wait. Uh, Jimmy, thank you so much Absolutely. for joining me. I Thanks so much appreciate me. it, man. Until the next video, you know what to do. You know where to do it. Deuces. We'll see you later.